Hi friends, this is Carmen. Welcome back to my channel. We're out and about today on a field trip and we're going to visit Pickers Paradise. This location is very close to my home and I haven't been here in quite a while so I'm excited to see what they have. Let's go inside and check it out. So as soon as I walked in, I was astonished by this piece this dragon here is solid wood carved it's fifteen hundred dollars which actually for the detail in it isn't bad but such a statement piece absolutely beautiful now this location here has about 30 vendors and the owners of Picker's Paradise also have their own items here and they're listed or coded on the tag as PP. And here is the sign PP 50% off. So anything that's tagged and coded as PP, Picker's Paradise, that would be 50% off. So I immediately found this Avon milk glass jug that was listed for eight dollars so that would make it four dollars and i do have a collection of avon uh, items avon milk glass this set of dishware here is beautiful for spring and summer with um, i think those are peaches on there absolutely gorgeous and it looks like it was a full set but this vendor here has a really nice selection of um, pottery milk glass all sorts of retro and vintage items. Absolutely beautiful. This blue and white little teapot for $25 I thought was really cute. These aren't vintage, these are a more modern pieces as you can tell by the price tag that's still on there, but they're really, really beautiful. Now, if you want a statement piece or a conversation starter, how about this vintage organ? Look at the craftsmanship in this giant wood organ it's six hundred dollars but wow i don't even play the piano organ but i would consider this this is beautiful i'm always on the lookout for teacups uh, little creamers and sugar bowls this little creamer and sugar bowl set for eight dollars was so delicate and the china on it was so fine I really love the detail on it too. This would be beautiful for a summer look. Absolutely gorgeous. I really like carnival glass too. Here's a creamer and sugar bowl also. This particular vendor has really good taste. They have excellent china, teacups, all sorts of uh, things for your kitchen and dining this ceramic set of mugs a set of four for twelve dollars i thought was a good deal really beautiful color on those now i'm not sure what this is or what it would be used for but it's just so cute i would use it to put like rings in or little trinkets this set here has a very mid-century vibe to it i really like the coloring on it and uh, the bowls there were four dollars each now this is not vintage this is a type of uh, pyrex more modern but they were so pretty it's a great way to have everyday dishware that's just gorgeous i really like this creamer and sugar bowl they were reduced down to four dollars each now this pot here this crock pot really caught my eye it is part of the sale so it would be ten dollars and i am on the lookout for new containers to put on our kitchen counters for utensils coffee sugar those types of things so that's one to consider but this really caught my eye this is a um, mahogany wood and it's a spoon rest it's part of the sale so it would be two dollars it was in really good condition and this blue and white bowl for um, you know sugar or anything like that this was part of the sale also so it would be half of that I really like this crock pot too this would be ten dollars with the sale this vendor here had a really nice selection of containers and vintage pyrex this blue and white set of three containers caught my eye so did the 65 dollar price tag on it but it is very elegant and just beautiful i have not seen anything like that 
Now they also had a really nice selection of Pyrex bowls. If you collect those, I don't, but you know, I do love looking at them. They're absolutely gorgeous. Another thing that I'm always on the lookout for and love to use in my decor are vintage suitcases. I have a couple of them, use them for storage and just simply to elevate different things. So these were priced at $30 each. They looked in pretty good condition. Now this painting back here caught my eye. looks, you know, it's a real acrylic paint and it, the frame on it is just gorgeous. It's $45, but it is coated for 50% off. So just for the frame alone, I would consider it. This little blue and white lamp caught my eye also. It's $12, but it's coated for a sale, so it'd be $6. It's not vintage. It's more modern. It says made in China on the bottom, but I thought that was just so cute. These chicken soup and onion soup bowls are cute. They're very popular to collect, and they were $4 each. This little milk glass cat, I think it had lotion in it at one point, but it's from Avon and it was reduced down to $4. It's really cute. I've never seen this particular um, milk glass from them. And a cute little trinket box. Now this uh, woven basket here was really unique. It's like a, a, in the shape of a water jug, I guess. And it's very large it was in good shape and it's only nine dollars for the size and style of it i thought it would be more than that but it was a good deal now here they have two complete sets of dinnerware and there were 25 dollars each that is a good deal beautiful patterns on them This milk glass uh, plate was gorgeous. It was only $4. I have not seen that style of milk glass plate. This is a beautiful ceramic uh, dish also. It's more decorative, obviously. And this Royal Copley vase is gorgeous. I've never seen these before. I had to do some research on them because I think that's something that I may want to start collecting. This little candle holder really caught my eye. It was $12 and it was just so unusual. I've never seen anything like it. The shape of it with the little um, container thing at the bottom. I tried looking for any type of markings or name, but I didn't find anything. There's a real cute little milk glass um, mug for $8. This was the only stoneware crock pot that I found there. And at $50, that's about what they're running, but it really was in beautiful condition. Now this is definitely a statement piece. This chicken lamp, I had to get closer because I really wanted to see how much this was. It was $125. Now look at this mirror. You all know that I have been looking and looking for a new mirror for my uh, hallway entryway. And this one here is $29. It's solid wood and it looks in pretty good condition. Hmm, gotta think about this one. Right above it, they had this artwork, but it's actually a piece of vintage quilt that's been framed really unique i've done something like this on a chenille piece of a chenille bedspread and i really love the look of it this one here was only eight dollars i thought that was a really good deal and it's just a beautiful look to it i had this little jug right next to it and that was five dollars this is unique this glass vase is surrounded by metal a metal frame and I have never seen anything like this, and it was only $8, really unique. Okay, so I'm back home, and I bought a few things. You know I cannot leave that place without buying some things, especially when they had some items at 50% off. That was really incredible. <laughs> Every item I purchased was, had the little um it was from picker's paradise so it had the pp 
50% off on them. So let's go through it. I've already unwrapped everything. They did a wonderful job of wrapping everything. Everything got home securely. And let's start off with some wood, some wood items that I got. Let me put my glasses on so I can see things. So I picked up this little spoon rest here. And this is the label on the back says West Indies, West Indies Mahogany, which is a tree. And it's a San Juan Puerto Rico, and it's a style 916. So not sure what that all means. I tried to look it up online, you know, if you're like a thrifter like me, as soon as I get home with um, a batch of things that I purchased, I go online and I research them. But this was $4, or listed for $4. I got it for 50% off, so just $2 for this little spoon rest. It doesn't look like it was even used at all, um, but this will go in the kitchen. I thought that was just adorable, and um, it's in really good condition. I'm not sure what company made this, who made this, but I did see online, on Etsy in particular, some samples of spoon holders similar to this not exactly i was not able to find an exact one so for two dollars i got a really good deal the next wood item is this tray this is so 1970s isn't it so 1970s mid-century modern style and this tray and it looks like it's been used so I got to clean that up and maybe reseal it. But this is monkey wood, monkey pod wood. And it's made in the Philippines. I ha have seen this before. So I know that these are collectible. You can see this has been used somewhat and, and gently loved. But... Um, I want to clean it up a little bit so if I'm not quite sure I'm gonna to have to research exactly what I can do on this monkey pod wood if you have this type of wood friends and you have cleaned it or or refinished it or something like that let me know what you use I don't want to paint it I love the natural wood look of it I think this will look beautiful in the kitchen somewhere on the counter on the table something but I want it to protect the wood uh, look of it Okay, so this one, I have my receipt here, was listed at $10.50, so I got it at $5.25. Isn't that cool? And I saw this on eBay, I think it was like $19 or $20, and I'll put some pictures up here of the listings that I found that were similar in the pricing and such. Okay, so let's move on to some ceramics. Now, um... I am blessed to have a wonderful son-in-law that loves to cook and he cooks all of our meals all of our dinners here so I got him this little set um, he loves using these little things like you know a dash of this a pinch of that you know so these are uh, wow Pilevoot France made in Pilevoot France and I'll put a picture of the company on here I found them on on their website it's a ceramic com company in France that was started in 1818 these little uh, bowls are sold at uh, Williams Sonoma and a set of six goes for like $45 so this set there's three small and one larger one these are listed for five dollars and fifty cents and it was fifty percent off so i got it for 275 this whole set there's four of them i showed it to him and he was he's so appreciative but um yeah and they're real ceramic that's wonderful now um the next thing for the kitchen he and i were talking about you know some of the things that he wants in the kitchen and stuff and i have been looking for some updated ceramic containers i want to change out my coffee grounds container um and you know something put like a little cookie jar container out there and stuff so i found this set of three let me show you the largest ones this here you probably saw it on the video this is gibson housewares china 
And this is their Daisy Sunshine and Seed Company uh, collection. So this is the larger one. We're going to use this on the counter as like a cookie jar. And then this is the me medium size. And this one I think we'll, I'll use for my um, coffee grounds. And then the smaller one, we'll find something to put in it or just, just for decoration. I don't know. But all of these, the set of three, um, was listed for $40.50, and I got it for $20.25. Now, I've seen these before. They're from the 80s, and maybe that's why I was so attracted to them. But I thought it was just a wonderful um, look to them, um, kind of almost like a crockery type of look to them, but really pretty colors and design here with the uh, daisies on it perfect for spring and summer because I do like to change out things on the countertops for the seasons and uh, so I thought that was really good I love these now another little jug I found this little blue jug little ceramic jug like a creamer and there's no um there's nothing on the bottom other than the price. You can see there that it was a uh, Picker's Paradise item and it was $4.50, so I got it for $2.25. This little creamer, this little jug. Um, it's fairly new, I would say in the 2000s, you know, early 2000s. But I thought it was just so cute to um, put like on a tiered tray or to actually use <laughs> creamer with um, and for two dollars two dollars and 25 cents I couldn't leave it behind I think this will go perfect in because um, I'm gonna be doing my tiered tray video here soon for a Memorial Day um, 4th of July theme and with this blue on it that'll look really really nice there you go okay so speaking of blue I Recently, if you saw my one of my shorts, um, I recently redid the corner hutch in my dining room and um, I took down the springy Easter stuff and put up my Blue Willow and um, Blue Delft collection. So I was kind of on the lookout for more blue and white ceramic china and I found this little teacup with a little... Um, I guess that's a peacock. Yeah, a peacock on there and some some flowers and stuff. And on the back, you can see there it's uh, Art Till Bone China. I looked it up. It's Art Till Bone China from Romania. And um, I did find a set of these on Etsy and I'll show a picture of it here of how much that was but this one teacup and saucer was five dollars so I got it for two dollars and fifty cents look at that isn't that pretty and this I need to clean it up it looks like it's got some tea or stains or something on it but I love the delicacy of it it's very light and of the handle on it such a cute little structure on it and this will go perfect in my corner hutch with my blue and white collection. Y'all remember back in the 70s, 60s and 70s, Avon used to sell different colognes and body oils and things like that in milk glass containers, really nice bottles. Well, those are collectible now. I have some of um, the milk glass, colored milk glass containers from Avon from years ago. And I came across this blue and white little pitcher. It is missing the stopper on it because I looked it up. It does come, this particular one does come with a stopper on it. And this was for bath oil. And um, so I did find some of this on eBay and they're running anywhere from 19 to $21. I got mine for, let me see if I can find it. So the Avon White Milk Glass Pitcher was originally $8. I got it for $4. And it's nice and heavy. 
How pretty. I love that. Now, I can put this in my corner hutch in the kitchen and, um, you know, display it with my other blue and white stuff. Or I have my other Avon milk glass in my bathroom in my bedroom. So, you know, I can put it either place. But I thought this was really cute. They had, I saw quite a few Avon, old Avon stuff, which, you know, Avon is actually still around. I saw an Avon book at the counter when I was checking out. You know, I haven't bought anything from Avon in years other than their old milk glass stuff. So <laughs> there you go. Now, speaking of milk glass, you know I couldn't leave there without getting some actual milk glass. And look at this face. Let's see if I can get the details on here. Look how beautiful this is. I'm always on the lookout to add things to my milk glass collection that I have in my hutch and that I use throughout my home. You know, whether I put plants in it, makeup brushes, <laughs> toothbrush, whatever. So this one, okay, yes, yeah, small milk glass face was $4. This one wasn't 50% off, it was just $4, which I was glad to pay $4 or I thought that was a good price in itself. It's very heavy. And then the other one, they had it listed as a uh, candle holder, but this is like a bud vase, basically. I have quite an extensive bud vase, milk glass bud vase collection. And I did not have this one. And this one was $7.50 and then 50% off, so $3.75, which I thought was a great deal because let me tell you, milk glass is getting expensive. I used to get all, back when I started collecting years ago, all my milk glass I would find at Goodwill and stuff for a dollar, two dollars. Well, gosh, you, you can't do that anymore. You know, even Goodwill has gotten very expensive. So this was at $3.75. Rosie? This was at $3.75 for this uh, bud vase. Okay. Now, I did get one planty thing for uh, my home. I saw this and I thought it was so unusual. This would be perfect for, it's got holes in it. This would be perfect for an orchid because Orchid pots have these huge holes in them because, um, you know, orchids, you just put them in here with some orchid bark or sphagnum moss or something like that, and they need a lot of aeration in them. They need the air flowing through there. So this one, and it's made in China. I can't make out it's the name of it, but it, all I can see is the word pottery. But I thought it was really cool and this was five dollars it wasn't on sale but at five dollars i thought this was great so i'll probably will eventually put an orchid in here um, because i think that's what it's made for with all of these holes around it that's what orchid pots look like and it has a lip on it so when i do water it it catches there and then it even has like this little lip here where you can just drain out the excess water. But I really like the color of it too. So I'll be potting that up soon enough. I'll see if I can get it over here without knocking it over. You know that I have been um, on the lookout for a new mirror to replace the uh, rectangular one that I have in my entryway. And I've been hunting for it, I've been looking, well, drop it. I've been looking at Hobby Lobby, even with 50% off, there's still like $100. A bird just hit my window. Um, even with a 50% off, there's still like $100. So uh, when I saw this guy here, and it was $29, this is heavy. This is solid wood around it. And um, the mirrors in fairly good condition. It does have a nice backing, a nice wire to hang it. This is an oval uh, shape mirror. It is, the wiring is attached 
so it would hang vertically or portrait or orientation, which is fine. I like to ch you know change that up in the uh, in the entryway. Um, I I actually do like. I mean, it needs cleaning up. The wood needs some cleaning up. Um, but I do like the natural darker wood tone of it, and it's got the on the ribbing around it. It's gold. There is gold on here. Um, so I'm thinking I'm going to put it up and leave it the way it is. After good cleaning, just put it up and leave it the way it is and not immediately like paint it or anything like that because I'm really liking the natural wood tone of it. And the gold will go really well with the whole theme there in the entry where I have so much gold accents there. But for $29, friends, I was so happy. You know, I stopped filming and <laughs> took this right up to the front and said, hold on to this for me, because I didn't want anybody to take it. It was, it's just so gorgeous. I love it. So well made, so heavy, and it's going to, you know, look wonderful in my entryway. Well, there you have it, friends. I got so many good deals there at Pickers Paradise in uh, Haines City, Florida, and um you know, I felt bad leaving stuff behind, but, you know, my wallet was telling me I needed to go. But I'm really happy with everything that I picked up, um, and it's going to look wonderful in my home. I'll definitely be back. I saw a sign while I was there that in May they're having a... a a flea market type of event there so I'll definitely be back for that I gotta look on their Facebook page to see exactly when the date is but I'll definitely be back for that if you enjoyed this video friends please do give it a thumbs up give it a like that helps me out so much and let me know down in the comments below what was your favorite bargain item that I found at my visit to Pickers Paradise today and don't forget to subscribe because you don't want to miss any videos and any updates that I'm giving you on uh, my other field trips and the things that I co am collecting and picking up while I'm thrifting. Thanks so much, friends. I appreciate you spending a little bit of your day with me. I'll see you in the next video, okay? Have a blessed day. Bye-bye now.